Hi guys, so we are going to follow the solder mask process. Okay, and what is the interest of the solder mask? Well, mainly two interests. First one is to avoid the oxidation of the copper. And the second one is to have a perfect insulation between two trace copper during the assembly process. And Clément, I have a good news for you today. Okay. As Clément become now an expert, they allow him to go inside the clean room. That's excellent. I'm up for that. Let's see the process. Before any solder mask application, the boards must be clean with a mechanical or chemical preparation. The aim is to obtain an adequate roughness and non-oxidized copper for suitable adhesion. As with any clean room, overpressure is used to protect and remove any dust from the outside. There are different ways to apply the solder mask to a PCB, curtain, screen printing, or electrospray deposition coating. All these possibilities can be realized more or less quickly and provide different thicknesses. There is a minimum quality criterion on the edge and copper surface. This deposit must be made in accordance with IPC standards. Once the panel is totally covered, it must be pre-cured. This step is essential and removes all the solvent from the ink. Without this step, registration will not be done properly. For the solder mask, the insulation can be done, as in this case, in two different ways. There is the registration with eight CCD cameras and the artwork. The boards receive a blast of LED light for a few seconds. This exposure to LED light will harden the solder mask where the artwork is clear. The other way is to perform the insulation by LDI, laser direct imaging. This time, no artwork is necessary because the machine directly insoles the selected locations with light beams and hardens the targeted location. This is the LDI insulation process. The portions not protected and not hardened by the insulation are washed away. Here in our example, the solder mask around the mechanical through hole is removed. After the developing phase, all the boards are controlled. Indeed, inspection is needed to check if there are any defective images, traces of ink on the pads or through the holes. Finally, the boards are exposed to a high temperature for one hour to cure the solder mask. Okay, so the process is now over. We've got a green PCB. Loic, I was wondering why the solder mask is always green? Well, the solder mask is mainly green because this is the best color for the human eye's sensibility for a better control. But in fact, we can also make black, yellow, red or blue. Okay, okay. And I heard that the solder mask can be used to plug the holes, that's right? Yes, this is right also. If the hole is big enough, we can plug with the standard solder mask. But nowadays with HDI, the holes are so small that we need to use some special process. The solder mask is indeed used to plug the holes, and more specifically the vias. It is a cost-effective method, but the vias can also be plugged or sealed with non-conductive materials such as epoxy resin. This can be done in horizontal screen printing, but for the smaller holes, we need to use a vacuum resin plugging machine which acts on the vias to plug them and avoid air bubbles when populating the boards at high temperatures. All the boards are cured to harden the epoxy resin and they need to be scrubbed for better flatness. Once this is done, the boards are ready for the rest of the manufacturing process. Thank you for watching. We are nearly at the end. We are going to separate the board, but before we need to do legend printing and some finishing. Stay tuned.